So we are looking at a couple of things today. First of all, comparing gross primary productivity, which we looked at before. So gross primary productivity, which is made by your producers, is equal to net primary productivity plus respiration. Gross photosynthesis is similar. So the total amount made in photosynthesis is equal to the net amount made in photosynthesis plus respiration. Because remember, anything that's used and lost in respiration then can't become incorporated as part of the biomass. So it can't be part of that gross, uh, either primary productivity or the gross photosynthesis. So gross or net photosynthesis will give information on the carbohydrate produced by a single plant or part of a plant. And it can be done in terms of carbon dioxide or oxygen exchange or the change in the carbohydrate content in the plant. So part of this then leads on to looking at what is known as the compensation point. When does the rate of photosynthesis um, be equal to the rate of respiration? So in this graph here, we have a couple of things. We have light intensity, we have the carbon dioxide being given out and the carbon dioxide being taken in on the axis. So the process that gives out carbon dioxide is respiration. So always think about what process is happening and the process that takes in carbon dioxide is photosynthesis. So when we look at the graph, then we need to consider well, what is happening and what is happening more of. So in the first part of the graph, we can see that the rate, uh, the amount more carbon dioxide has been given out than has been taken in. So that would tell us that light intensity is low. So this is going to be nighttime. And it would tell us that then that the rate of respiration is greater than the rate of photosynthesis. So basically more photosynthesis, sorry, more respiration is happening. It's nighttime, it's given out more carbon dioxide. There's no photosynthesis happening, so the rate of respiration is greater. During the daytime, so higher light intensity, then photosynthesis is happening. Respiration is also happening, but we can see that during the daytime that the rate of more carbon dioxide is being taken in. So at this point here, we would say the rate of photosynthesis is happening at a greater rate than the rate of respiration. So more carbon dioxide has to be taken in than what is being produced in respiration in the plant. At this point where it levels off, then this is just our limiting factors graph. Light intensity is still increasing, but some other factor is now limiting. So it could be temperature. So remember, it's not the thing that's on the axis that is a limiting factor anymore. At this point where it crosses this at zero, then that means that there's no carbon dioxide being given out, there's no carbon dioxide being taken in, and this is called the compensation point. And at this point here, then that is when we would say the rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of respiration. And that would usually be at sunrise or at sunset. So that would be our typical compensation point graph. Now the other graph that we can look at is this one here, which again is similar. We have carbon dioxide being given out. So that is our respiration. We have carbon dioxide being taken in during photosynthesis. This has time rather than light intensity, but again, night time, the rate of respiration is greater than the rate of photosynthesis. During the day, the rate of photosynthesis is greater than the rate of respiration. And again, at night time, the rate of respiration is greater than the rate of photosynthesis. Now, the key thing for this graph is when you're looking at it, is that this section here, you, in order for a plant to grow, this area here needs to be greater than these two areas here at night time. So basically, the amount being produced in, in photosynthesis, so your gross photosynthesis, needs to be greater than the respiration losses that are happening at night time. 
Always remember as well that respiration happens both during the day and the night, but during the daytime, the rate of photosynthesis is greater um, than the rate of respiration. And at night time, only respiration is occurring because there's no light to allow photosynthesis to happen.